Okay, here's another attempt. I've been trying to get this thing to work, this streaming software, but it keeps using over 100% CPU. So please, oh, I hope it works this time. Um, welcome to this video. This is, I'm working on Songbringer here. I'm working on a new boss. Um, this is the boss where you're kind of getting the charged attack or the parry ability. Um, and uh, I'm working, this is a really rough prototype phase where I'm just trying to make this boss fun without making it look good or anything, We're not, without worrying about any of the aesthetics, just worrying entirely about the gameplay and the feel and the fun of it. So um, I'm working on the part where right now where he can do a charged attack. So let's parse out the, um, I've got this uh, basically from, um, working with my, um, uh, you know, script, I forget what I call this anymore. Um, anyways, I'm just working on the scripting for this boss here. Uh, so he's got this, basically this phase where he charges up his sword, and then he releases his charge. And uh, I'm just trying to make it fun, so I am I need something, though, that will show where the charge attack is, because right now you can't even see it. So that's why we need these charge doubles. So let's parse the color. Forget, did I make a string version? Yeah, I got a string version and a hex version. Okay, so this is needs to be on the outside of this. It should be like that. Pass in this distance and the color. Get this compiling and set a breakpoint so I can make sure that these are being parsed correctly and then we can throw it into the enemy's AI and check out if it's fun. Well, I already know that it's starting to become more fun. I think if I finally, man, this is such a breakthrough for me personally here because I've been kind of hesitant to do this guy because I always get hesitant before I create something new because I'm like, oh, what if it sucks? But you know what I mean? Uh, it's pushing past that and that creative hesitancy always leads to creative flow for me. At least that's what I've experienced. Just got to push past that ice, break the ice. Oh, I'm not even using this in the script. So I'm going to set this to be different than what I'm trying to parse so I know that it's actually parsing correctly. Let's do like F7 or F, I don't know. And we'll just, oh, build here. Jeez, is it really? I 
I've been having a lot of trouble with this lately. Streaming software is like, will eat up so much CPU that I can't even code. Ugh. All right. I think it's actually Xcode that's using a bunch right now. It's indexing. All right, so here's the boss. Um, I had him. I'm just using the artwork for Keel right now again. But the difference here between these two, I'm gonna totally draw a different character. Um, so, but anyways, um, the difference between they're you might as well say it. They're brothers. These is Ren, um, the brother of Keel, and so they're gonna kind of look similar, but they're gonna they're gonna fight differently, and they're gonna look a lot differently too. So. Um, all right, so it looks like it did parse the distance 50 and the color F0. Great. And it did parse, yeah, stir val 2 is the, is that one, and flow val 1. Cool. All right, so that works. I can close Xcode, get rid of that CPU hog. And um, let's go back to that and try it out. All right, so if um, if this works, Ren should be able to do his charged attack with some some charged doubles, it's like um, like Rock. So Rock has this one where he lets go, and there's like those four different doubles that come out. Yeah, all right, nice, that works. Okay, cool. So Ren, um, Ren's strategy basically is, um, Keel's strategy, the other boss, was uh, to run at you. He's just relentless. He's constantly, constantly staying on you like a, like a fly on sugar. So he's charging up a bit too much. Let's get him to charge a little less. Uh, my goal here is to try and do an actual boss fight and see if it's fun. Let's do a little less charge there. So basically Ren's strategy is to stay put until you get near, which makes him feel a lot different in his in this fight. He stands there. He's got these other enemies that are... I'm not sure what these are going to be exactly. These will be different enemies, not these pulverizer art, but... I'm thinking there will be some enemies like this that can drop from the ceiling onto the edges of the screen and they zoom across the screen and then they drop and they jump back up. So I'm just throwing those in for now. So Keel's hanging out. He's charged up. It's hard to tell if he's charged up. It's a little distracting with these guys on the screen. And I would like him to also have a warp ability, so I may as well just try and prototype that right now as well. So let's do some kind of warp. Um, the thief boss has a warp. There it is, magic, if invincible, animate club, special smoke.
you're hearing that sound, that's my laptop. It's a fan. kind of the same as this stuff. If mode zero, no direction, targets far away, certain random amount. Okay, I'll see if you can warp around the screen now. Oh, sweet. That's cool. It's just totally random, but... Sometimes it jumps right near you and attacks you. It's kind of cool. So he's got a charge now. He's going to stay charged. So um, this is definitely one thing where an animation would really help if he's all charged up. But he's going to release his charge. And Oh, okay, so the delay from the charge is way too long. Let's get that to be much tighter. Release charge. Um, the one thing about him is if he, uh, I've got it at least so if he's, if he gets damaged, he'll do his, um, he'll charge, he'll run at you. So like if he's just standing there, well, what's that? I guess not if he's charged. Still taking too long. Spawn mode, delay enemy. Oh, okay. Oh, this is no, this is the wrong one. This is supposed to be. I like it. He's already starting to feel a lot different than Keel is. Okay, we'll go ahead and fight. I 
I guess he needs to do something if he's charged up. And just standing there. I think he's, is he, do, is he charged now? Yeah, he's charged. Okay. We need, okay, that's a really important. Um, he's got this bit where he attacks. So you can also attack if mode two. Mode two is the beginning of char or when he's charged up, right? Charge mode two, right? Okay. So you can attack melee if he's in mode zero or two. Should be charged now. I wonder if he can carry his charge actually. Okay, he shouldn't be able to warp. If he's in mode two, all right. He should. He can't morph if he's in mode. In his charged up mode. So, all right. Well, let's let's have it, uh, let's try this out. Just cheated a little bit there to get some health back instead of using cactuses or whatever. Yes. So this goes, it goes a long ways to make him have this sort of style where he doesn't really attack you. He waits for you to attack. Really makes him feel a lot different. And then when you do attack him, he He'll run at you for a minute, but then he, he backs off. He's got the ability to charge an attack, he's got the ability to warp, and he's got the ability to parry. So all of these things you're kind of either learning or getting better at by fighting this guy. Basically he's kind of like training you. This is his trial, if you will. That's the concept. What's he doing? Oh, he's doing his spawn thing. Okay, so he's got these other enemies that he can spawn. Um, these are just total, like I said before, this is all placeholder art. I'm thinking these will be big, big guys that sit in the corner mostly. I'm not sure why I've got them running, moving towards you. I did it again. Okay, yeah, this is now that he's a character that can that mostly sits back and lets you attack him, it makes a lot more sense that he can spawn these enemies and have them be doing something to make you move rather than just stay stagnant and then doing nothing. It is kind of weird, I guess, that he's he's stuck behind one of those now. So I'll have to make the, these enemies so that they can't... They have like a static category or something. Uh, 
Well, he just keeps doing that attack. It's like, it's all he does in this phase. It's creates more and more of these guys. Which, which might actually work if he can kind of spawn a lot of these. But only if he's like at half health or something. That's why. Okay, so yeah, he's not gonna die at the end, but um, this is mission accomplished. Um, like I said before, all I really want to do is get a, a like a rough draft um, boss fight in place with the abilities I had kind of conceived that he would have. Try it out. This is like a rough draft prototype of this boss fight, and it'll look a lot different. It'll be a lot different from this. A lot of more changes but uh, that's good I think I'm happy with that and um, it's really all I can do for this video I apologize my videos have been more intermittent lately uh, but I've had some personal issues I'm going through so it's been tough 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 time in life right now um, but anyways besides all that um, this boss ought to be I think it's really going to add a good, um, good element to the game because you're you got the charge attack, you get the parry, and all those kinds of things. It really helps the gameplay feel a lot more varied. So, thanks for watching this video, and um, that's that's all for now.